Welcome to the Celiac Diva! Hi everybody, welcome to the Celiac Diva. I am Lauren Lucille Vassar, and today I have a beautiful guest with me, Kayla. You can see this fancy sash over here. Kayla, tell us what the sash is all about. Well, I'm currently the Miss New Jersey American Teen for the American Code Pageant 2011. Woohoo! All right, Kayla, so you are living with celiac disease. You're an advocate for celiac disease. Um, when did your symptoms first start? Um, it started when I was six years old. I was diagnosed when I was eight years old. I had symptoms of you know, malnourishment, um, loss, you know, loss of weight. Um, you know, my height wasn't going well. I wasn't growing. And, um, you know, it's all those things mixed together, headaches, stomach aches, is all those things that helped doctors realize that I had celiac disease. And once you found out that you did have celiac disease, did I hear a little rumor that there might have been some cheating in subsequent years? Yes, a lot of everything that was gluten free, I just didn't want to eat it. I wanted to eat my food that I was used to, you know, used to eating. You know, when you go to parties, you know, you don't want to be the kid that doesn't eat the pizza at the party. You don't want to be the kid that doesn't eat the cake, birthday cake at the party. You want to be the kid that eats that food because it makes you feel accepted. It makes you like, feel like, you're fit, like you fit in. You know, I was bullied because I didn't fit in with my food. So that's one of the reasons why I completely stopped going gluten-free. And when I was 14, I realized the damage, the damage that I had done to my body. And I realized that I needed to stick to my diet and I needed to you know, really commit. So I gave it up for Lent and, you know, ever since then I've been doing well with it. That's awesome. What advice would you have for other teens or kids who are being bullied about being gluten, living gluten-free? Don't let it get to you. I let it get to me and, because I felt like I was the only person on, like, earth that was my age that had celiac disease. And you shouldn't feel that way. Look, I'm here. I have celiac disease. So you're not... And she's got a sash. <laughs> you're not the only teen out there. And I had to learn that the hard way because I really did really went against my diet. And it's not a good thing. You don't want to go through the years of feeling so bad every day, not getting out of bed because you're so sick. You don't want to go through that. You want to live life. You want to live a happy, healthy life. So don't let those bullies get to you over food. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Just say it's like... You know, it's a diet. Just say, hey, it's gluten-free. Like, make it seem special. It is special because it's you, and you're the only person that can really make it special. And I think you need to be confident and to really understand that you're not the only one. There's so many other people out there that have it too. That's right. And what advice do you have for parents who have either teenagers or kids that are living gluten-free? Support. Support's the biggest thing that they need. Really help them, you know, stick to their diet. Give them snacks. Have Make sure that your, your kid has like 10 snacks with them just in case they get hungry. Or make sure your teenager has snacks with them because they forget sometimes. So just put it in their backpack and have it for later. This way they Sneak know they can just take it out and say, oh, look, I have a snack. They don't have to worry about what's in the vending machine that they can't or cannot have. So it's really important that <laughs> supports the big So Kayla, what is your favorite uh, brand of gluten-free foods? My favorite brand of gluten-free foods is Udi's Breads. I love everything that they make. Um, their white bread is definitely my favorite though, because it's sandwich bread. It's perfect for everything, grilled cheese sandwiches, you know, pizzas, everything I love. It's just, it's perfect and I love them You're so a much. huge support and advocate for the teenagers out there who are living gluten-free. Tell us about your organization that you have. I created an organization called Teens Living with Celiac. Um, it's, our mission is to raise awareness for celiac disease through the youth's voice because it's important that our generation today raises awareness now because then it betters the future for other people tomorrow. Like tomorrow. So just think of it, you know, there's so many other teens out there, so it really does bring support and it really brings all our teens together to understand that we're not alone. There are other teens living with celiac disease. You're not the only one in your school. You're not the only one in your community. You're not the only one in your state that has celiac disease. There are plenty of other people. And you know, there's people getting diagnosed every single day, so you really need to. We're everywhere. <laughs> exactly right. So now tell us the next thing the organization is doing is coming up in May. May 9th, 2012, in New Jersey, I'm going to be hosting my second annual Catwalk for Celiac event. I was able to fund it by Scholastic because I won a grant from them in 2011. So I'm using their money and I'm creating this huge fashion show event. I have like six designers and it's gonna be phenomenal and amazing and great. And this is so great because it's a fashion show and it has something to do with Steel Axis. Who knew that fashion and Steel Axis can come together? Love it. Yeah, great. And you have a website coming soon as well. The website's coming soon. We're in the process of making it. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be an awesome website. That's right, stay tuned. All right guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you, Kayla, so much. Thank you so much for having me.